Please, sir. I want coins. If you want time royalty here, together. welcome to. If you want coins, then click the link in the description below for igxe.com. Use the code Trey at checkout to get yourself five percent off screen right now and the second one will be against the team we almost did this career mode with if you recall from that career mode vote I put out a long time ago um, it was between Knots who obviously won the vote Gwingop and the Zalal and my players so it's gonna be an interesting episode to say the least because if you recall we're still unbeaten and on top of that we have yet to concede a single goal thus far this season which is immense so I'm hopeful we can keep that streak going but it's gonna be very difficult against the likes of Leon who have a very very immense attack with Lacazette, Fakir, Inji, Gorkuf it's gonna be tough to keep them scoreless but Gwingop as well have a very decent attack obviously Claudio Bovu who has been pretty much their main player this season in real life did get an upgrade in ultimate team as well and they also have Sankare who's been very good for him uh, Sylvan Marva one of my favorite players so it's gonna be a difficult test to see if we can keep this scoreless sheet alive now scoreless sheet scoreless streak alive uh, but let's take a look at my squad screen so I did mess uh, miss mess it up uh, I, I mixed it up a bit I guess you could say because in the last few games we played we have been switching to the three at the back formation at halftime because it had been working and at the beginning of the games we weren't doing anything and then when I switched to halftime to this three at the back formation it was working wonders we were coming out and attacking loads and doing exactly what I wanted to playing my kinds of games so I wanted to Try starting out the game with a three at the back formation and see what happens because it hasn't been working out well previously starting out the games and we had to wait till halftime. So I'm hopeful we can score a few goals in the first half this time instead of waiting till the end moments of the game. So you can see I'm trying Balassi out at striker. Now that's not in his listed positions, only left mid and right mid. I think he could do the job there. I, he's very strong, has a lot of pace, has five-star skill moves as well, so I think he could do the job. A light tan up top with him has Bedoya at Cam, Hansen in at CDM with Taliso, and Kudu on the right-hand side with Amavi on the left-hand side. That was one of my worries about switching to the three at the back formation was the fact that we did buy Amavi, and he wouldn't be able to play in a three at the back formation, but upon further inspection, he can play left mid, so might as well chuck him in there. I think he could do the job well in this formation, just based on his stats. Very, very good mental stats and physical stats, and some of his skill stats aren't that bad either. 77 crossing is very good for a left mid, at least of his quality, 73 rated. Not too bad whatsoever of a stat from him. Uh, we would have the guys like Vera 2 playing, of course, as well, if he wasn't on uh, not on low fitness, Sansone and Seba as well, but they'll probably come in at half time or some point during the game for probably Hansen, I think I would say, and Olaitan, maybe in Kudu as well. Those would probably be the three I'd take off for those three on the bench. But either way, let's get straight into this game against Lyon and take a look at what they're rocking up with. Alrighty, let's take a look at their side. Taliso, of course, coming up against his former team. Bang, Lacazette Fernandao. That's a new signing up front. Malumbu, a new signing as well in one of the center mid positions alongside Fofana and Ganalans, who... If this was realistic, Fofana would not be in the starting 11. He isn't even back from injury until March. And it was it was questionable whether or not he'd be able to play again in his career, but he passed his um, fitness test, so whatever whatever you want to call it. So he's back from injury now in around March. Same with Grenier. Both of them haven't been fit at all this season. The Leon still find themselves in first place, which is pretty cool. But in the game, anyway, Malumbu, decent signing. I don't think they needed a center mid, though, so I'm not sure where they signed him. Fernandao, they definitely did need a striker. But I'm not sure he'll be enough quality for them. Fakir can play striker. He does play there very often in real life as well. So I would have chucked him there and maybe put Gorkouf or Grenier in at that camp position. That's just my opinion. But either way, very tough test. Let's go straight into this game. Oh God, Fakir's through. Fakir, nice cross. Jesus. Oh my God, Lacazette. Kudu, Taliso. Taliso almost got a goal against his former side. We got a corner. See what we can do from it. Tsu and Kudu over to Sissoko. And that was shit. That was not good. So it's halftime. We're going to make a few changes. I don't know what it is with this team. But I. it's just in the first half of games, we just get destroyed. I mean, look at that. That's been happening in the first half of games just since the series began, basically. So we're going to change formations, of course, once again. Switch to a four at the back formation. See see if this works out for us. I don't really don't understand. Um, what do we switch to? 4-3-3 three, three I'm going to go with. Um, which one is the question, though? Uh, ba -ba -ba, this one. And then we'll have Balassi in. Olaitan, Bedoya, of course. 
a Mavi in for Nkudu on this side. Um, then we'll bring on Veritu and Seba. We're going to take out Olaitan, and we're just going to rock up with this team. No, actually, Olaitan's going to stay on the pitch. We're going to take off Nkudu and then go like this. See what we can do in the second half. I'm hopeful, but we've been dominated so far. Hopeful, hopefully, we can just keep this clean sheet intact. Seba, come on. Veritu. Bang it! Oh, what a save from Lopez. Falls to Amavi. Can we get another chance here? Over to Taliso. Over to Bedoya. Over to Veratu. Over to Balassi. Balassi working his way. Smashing it. No, Lopez gets to it. And that's full time. Another game where nothing happens. Very, very frustrating at least. At least we're still undefeated. No goals conceded still. And we did put up a bit more of a fight in that second half, just no one could score. Very frustrating. It kind of seems how this series has been going thus far. I'm hopeful we can break out of this trend sometime soon, but again, at least we're still undefeated. So we get this back after the game. Maxime Dupe says, Boss, I may not be the first name on the team sheet, but I feel I should be getting some more playing time now. This is a thing where I wish that I could, you know, answer him back. Because there's a thing on Football Manager where this, where this happens, and you can reply to them and say, Hey... I would love to give you some playing time, but so-and-so is in the form of their life, so you're not going to be able to break through at this point in time, which is true about Remy Ryu. He was yet to concede thus far into the season, and he wants games. Like, eight games, Ryu has kept clean sheets in a row, and he wants to play. I mean, you can see by his form. Like, no, no, you're not going to be able to play. That's not going to happen. So our youth scout has returned from our scout future star search, and we'll go take a look at him right now. We got a youth squad monthly report at the same time. Same guy as well. What is with me and getting Germans when I'm in France? It really frustrates me. We'll keep him this time, though. Daniel Ginjek, I believe is how you pronounce his name. 81 to 94 potential center midfielder, looks like. Could be pretty decent of a signing for us. We do need a bit more central midfielders so I'm not too upset about this whatsoever just a little upset that he's German because I believe there's only one or two Germans currently playing in France I wanted to keep it a bit more realistic but at the same time there is currently only one American playing in France so whatever we'll take him in when the time comes and um yeah that's basically it let's go take a look at this side I believe nope nope we'll we'll take a look at it at the Guingamp game I'm gonna simulate forward to it and then in game I'll show you both sides Alrighty, take a look at both sides once again. You can already see it on your screen right now, but here it is. Anyway, Seba, Olaitan, Balassi, Bedoya, Veratu, Senso, Namavi, Do, Jilaboji, Sissoko, and Ryu in at goal. It's our usual first team. It's usual formation we rock up with, usual team in general. So, let's take a look at their side now. Bang, we got Mandana up front. Very decent player. Bovu, who I was talking about in that right-hand side. Very slow defenders in Sorbonne and Angua, who I'm not sure actually if he's very slow. I know Sorbonne is very slow. Um, but other than that, it's not the greatest of sides, definitely. We should be winning this game, but we've struggled in front of goals so far this season. But at least we still have those clean sheets going for us. So if we can stay undefeated once again, then I'll be happy. But Bovu is definitely the main threat we're going to have to watch out for. Oh, shit! No, clear it! Thank God, Jilipoji! Oh, no, no! Not like that, please, dear God. Nice. Good work. Sanson. Morgan Sanson, please, that's a penalty. There we go. He did, I was so confused as to why he didn't kick it, but now it's obvious. Red card came in from behind easily, plus he was the last man as well. Easily a red card. Sanson would have put that away. I'm pretty confident he would have at least. And you can see right here, mm, I, mm, yeah, definitely a red. It kind of looked like though, Sanson on his way back when he was cocking up his foot, you know, like trying to load up his shot that he kind of inflicted the damage himself, but whatever. I'll take it. Blassie to take the penalty. Not sure if he's our best penalty taker. In fact, I kind of doubt it, but it's Veritu. Um, oh yeah, of course it is. Veritu was our main penalty taker so far this season. We'll give it to him once again, and hopefully he can give us the goal that we need in this game against Gwingomp, who almost scored on us twice now. Oh, come on, Veritu. We need a win, and we need at least one goal this freaking episode. Jordan Veritu puts that one in. Great penalty, and it's 1-0. And that's full time. 1-0 is the final score. Only one goal this episode is pretty frustrating, but we still kept our clean sheet record intact with nine games through so far the series. 
and we have yet to concede a single goal. That is immense. That is fantastic. I mean, they did kind of put on the pressure a bit near the end of the game, especially trying to throw in long balls into the box, but we have Jilaboji at the back. Do you really think they're going to be able to get a header in? Don't think so. We have a fantastic defense. I really don't know what it is. It doesn't look fantastic on paper. I mean, we have a CDM playing at center back, even though technically you can play there. Jilaboji, Sissoko, and Amavi. You wouldn't think that would be nine clean sheets in a row caliber, but it definitely has been. We sit in second place, which I definitely did not think we'd be sitting in at this point in the series, but I am glad that we definitely do. Uh, we'll take a look at that off camera. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please leave a like on the video itself. There will be a full crew mode video out tomorrow, of course. If you guys did enjoy this, again, please drop a like on it. I've been Seaver all day, and I'll catch you guys next time. My teacher, Miss Thomas, told me I would never be nothing. I looked at her dead in the face and said, I'm gonna be something. She told me that in a few years I'll be catching the bus. Now I'm catching the car service. Guess who the driver? Her husband. It's priceless.